The way we keep students interested in math and science is take them out on field trips, make them interested in the subject. Don't make it a chore for them. Just relate to them in life. That's how I like to learn. My name is Kelly Blakeman and I love science. One of, the, one of the big projects we did this year, it was a little different, is I took the, uh, a lot of the students to the wilds in Cumberland, Ohio, which is a 9,000 acre uh, wildlife sanctuary. My name is Matthew Minter and I teach science. We go on field trips to the A plant. We've went on a few. Um, we went to the wilds to understand um, animal behavior and stuff. Most of the kids from this part of the, the state uh, not being economically able to, to ever go to something like that, they were just totally blown away by it. I got the chance to see an owl and it was pretty cool. I've never seen an owl in person. And we got a chance to touch a rattlesnake. I'm Leslie Johnson and I work at Ohio University's Boinovich School of Leadership and Public Affairs. Keeping students interested in math and science is our greatest challenge and we do that by engaging them in hands-on, inquiry-based, exciting, interesting problems. I'm Jessica Walker, I'm a senior at Buckeye Hills. At the beginning of our hamster project, most of them died, so that was a challenge to get more so that we could stay on schedule with how the project was supposed to go. Sometimes things don't work out and researchers have to start back at number zero. And they understand that science is a long-term process. My name is Kimberly Lewis and I teach science. With this STEM funded project, my teaching methods really haven't changed. But what I have are new people to collaborate with. My students have these people as resources. We've also been able to get new technology and add to our existing technology, which is just making things awesome for my students and their learning. I am sorry this is the last year for the STEM project because other students won't get to understand what it is and they won't get to experience the cool projects that we've got to experience. It's not really about books at all, like we go over some material in the books, but usually it's about the ACER project we have been doing. We go over a lot of material, we take a lot of field trips to the A plant. We see things that a lot of kids at the school don't really get the chance to see. It's pretty interesting and it's fun. We'll still continue doing a lot of the hands-on activities that I have control of here at the school, uh, and, and those type of things will still benefit the students. I wouldn't change anything about the STEM project because it's a good experience for other people and it's good hands-on for students. I think it worked perfect the way it was. Excellence is when our students leave these doors feeling like they have the knowledge, the skills, and the will and the motivation to get out there and solve real world problems. I did it. Now, now it's, it's your turn. turn.